for you, ready? Mm -hmm. Oh, I give video Wayne all rights to this. Man, you can if you want to, you heard me? It don't matter to me, you know we family. Ain't nothing on paper or none of that could change the way I feel about you. You got all rights to this, homie, do whatever you want. People don't know Slim See. still was like kind of bitter when he passed. Like the day before Slim passed, he was still mad that he never got booked for a show in New Orleans. Like he never ever got booked for a show. Like every show that he did in New Orleans, like Tipitinas or whatever, that was for his birthday or something he put together himself. He never my, my got. Wife's dead, my it was a um, I think he was like, we don't show each other love, like in the city, like we don't book each other, like. Yeah, that's real. That's like, what they real. Yeah, like we don't book each other. Like New Orleans wouldn't wasn't booking Slim. Like he could get booked in Bugaloose in Mississippi, but nobody in New Orleans book, was willing to pay. You mean just basically like a concert. Like amazing. basically like a book, book him as a headliner for a concert. Gotcha. Like and he had that in him. Like some of us, like Slim had really. Like, before he passed, he was really, like, getting aggravated with music, too. Like, he was running into some other problems, too, you feel me? Agitating music from what aspect, meaning? The, meaning, the like, finances and, and stuff like that. Like, he wasn't, he didn't feel like he was getting his justice due, and he's showing all his love. All the tricks and games that come. Yeah, yeah. all the tricks yeah. and games. Like, and you know, he's straightforward. He like, man, if homie don't have my money tomorrow, I'm going to put that pistol on him. And that's just, a, that's just... That ain't that ain't business slim. That's the street slim versus coming into the business. You feel me? Like you don't do that. You feel me? Like if you tell me you are gonna pay me on the twenty first, you pay me on the twenty first. Slim realized the twenty first come. Now nah, I gotta stretch this to ice this for my money another week. Now nah, he avoid me. Now nah, I'd be like, oh man, I'm gonna just go ahead on ride on. And this and this a record label person. You feel me? Or another rapper. Now yeah. it's animosity with that rapper too, you feel me? You say Slim had a lot of beef with a lot of people? Um, I think um, Slim inherited a lot of beef. Okay. Just from people being around him, you feel me? Because Slim became, Slim was the go-to guy. Mm -hmm. Like, you got to look at, Slim got access to money now and guns. Like, so if a need a gun, who they going by? Man, Slim, let me borrow this here, or borrow that there. And Slim like, here. Yeah. Like, man, I remember before Slim got killed, I had a situation of my own. Slim asked me, was I good? Meaning, like, well, you got access to anything you need over here. Just go ahead. You good. That's just what help. Say, yeah. say uh, a lot of people that just watching it, before I go into it, I just want to understand what OPP is. In New Orleans. What, what's well, that's basically our uh, niggas Paris Prison. Okay. What, what, what's that like? You ever been in it? No, I ain't, I ain't never did no bid or nothing like that. Okay. You feel me? <clears throat> what you, I mean, from what you hear, and, you know, from what you know, I mean, what, what's it like? Um, you basically got to be the same as you is on the street. You feel me? Like, you got to look at people like Slim and Lorel. You feel me? Like, I remember um, I remember I told Slim about Lorel, and Slim, Slim knew who I was talking about off the back. Like, he was like, yeah, man, I know Lorel. Like, from jail stories, man, on from there. You feel me? And by Lorel being from a different neighborhood, Slim felt like, I don't really want to deal with him on the record label business, you feel me? But that's my man. Lorel is my partner, you feel me? Like, me and him go back and forth on the phone every so, day. So it was come up some conversation or uh, I I brought up the conversation to Lorel Slim to... about Lorel. Mm, okay. And at first, yeah, Slim was, was like, exactly. rejecting of it, like, you know, feel me? Because he didn't know if Lorel had matured and stuff okay. like that. Because it's still like they from two different projects. Right. But I wound up bringing it up to Slim. And he wound up later on down the line, he wound up talking to me about it. He was like, I'm glad you did that. He never had to get the, he never got the chance to have a conversation with Lorel. But he was told me he glad that I wound up bringing it to him because he was like nobody else wouldn't have thought about that. Because he felt like Lorel was a big dog in his neighborhood, too. You feel me? Four Wise's jail system or street. You feel me? And them two being together, being able to talk, they could talk about both things from both aspects. You feel me? Right. So did you, did you say when you say Lorel is lyrical? He's, 
Yeah, like, Darrell Livable. Yeah. yeah, you know he went from he know how to he know how to transition from with time. That's why he was able to last out here. Like yeah, Darrell, Darrell, Darrell had a song. Time, didn't yeah, Darrell was on Cash Money with Yellow Boy and them. Mm -hmm. And he how how in the world could Darrell be on Yellow Boy songs? And now today he's on a song with Ki. Right. Like that lets you know he was able. He had the transition in him. You feel? That's that time. Hell yeah. Yeah. You in order for him to transition to him being able to spit with chaotic nymph, that mean he had the he was good at transitioning. You feel me? Like he came home from jail, he was rapping the old way, but then he got around me and chaotic and all of them, and he picked up on what was popping at the moment, and he that was just in him. You feel me? Gotcha. Laurel had grew with his t with his time in jail. Like he was, he had became understanding. Mm. You feel me? Like he understand like what it was. Cause one time he, I think you came to film me in the Magnolia right after I got shot up, yep. and we was on the set and B Stu was <laughs> like, talk about it. Go ahead, bro. Just about B Stu was like, his hood. You feel me? And Laurel was right there, and I turned around. I was like, shit. I'm telling Stu. To chill on that, you feel me? Because Lorel right there, but stupid was like, man, fuck that such and such, and Lorel was like, oh man, let him do his thing. I understand that. I remember that like yesterday, yeah. You feel remember me? Just, yeah, yeah, like yeah, on trip. Let him so, do so, his so thing. So talk about it. I mean, it's, that's, that's a major thing in New Orleans, bro. I mean, they, well, if you're from another project, you just you don't just get that respect like that. Or is there certain people that can go to every project and still, you know get that respect? You no, know, with time, with time, okay. like Lorel was older now, like versus versus like. Say I'm in middle school, you in high school. When we get to high school, we could actually be called you. But when we in middle school, we rivals. It's the Mel versus the Magnolia, whatever like that. You feel me? That's how it was. But Lorel understood it because Lorel was like in a better mindset from doing. Well, I think Lorel did like ten or fifteen. Yeah, well, yeah. So he came home with a different understanding, and he felt he understand how the streets go. You feel me? Gotcha. Because mm -hmm. I didn't want to put him in no bad situation, and I know that he he ain't even with that no more, you feel right. me? Yeah, yeah, change it up all the way. Yeah, Same and way. I'm just like, well, I'm one of them type of people, like, I love my hood, but I just didn't want to, um, I just, um, I got cousins from all different projects, you feel mm -hmm. me? Just like Versus Chaotic got Ken Foles in another neighborhood. Right, right. Versus like Juve had, Juve was living in the milk before. And mm -hmm. Like that. that. Like, man, it's hard. Like, we are, we really kin to each other and we don't be knowing we have cousins yeah. down the line. And shit like that. And we be against each other. Yeah, sure. but Stu was really stupid. But, just what I could say. Um, was him and Slim tight? Was him and Slim? Oh, Slim, him and Slim was official. Like, that's hood love, you feel me? Yeah. Like, you can't, you can't, you could dibble and dab outside of the hood, but you got to have that lane and that respect at home. Like, Slim yeah. could basically Slim, send stupid to do anything. Because he had a genuine love for stupid. He know what it's like to be in his position. Right. So, you know, so he, they, they developed that bond from hurting. Versus having money, you feel me? Gotcha. But Slim was type the the type of person that was trying to mold you better than he was. Like Slim, Slim understand that you're a killer automatically because this what look what you offer. You offer of Willow Street. Mm -hmm. Be stupid is off of Willow Street. That Willow Street is basically like it's the okay. whole Magnolia, but Willow Street is basically where everything go down. It's basically like you got to be you got to be ten times better than gangster. Yeah. And you get you you ain't coming on the Willow Street hustling if you ain't from around it. I don't care who you is, where you stayed at in the project. If you ain't off of Willow Street, you got the before it was owned by. And that's Mason. where Slim from too. That's where Slim from. Yeah. I heard him rap. He said, "Why?" He said, "I thought the name of the street was Wild Willow." But yeah, that's Wild Willow. That's that's, oh, that's the whole street. name of the street. Yeah, Wild Willow. No, they made. Oh, he's just saying wow. Yeah, wild. Yeah, wild because this where it happens at. Gotcha. Like Slim and had coll collide crews with people from the hood. Slim, before Slim died, he had a fight with another person off of Willow Street because they was basically selling the same drugs. And they was basically going to shoot out. They basically drew down guns on each other. And then they was like, man, why are we killing each other? And we from the same neighborhood. Let's just fight it out. And they had a fight. Like they put the guns down. That was the crazy. Double, you heard me? They had a fight and they was out of breath with each other. Two, two OGs. You feel me? So you saying you speaking about the real and the slim? Yeah. The reason why he might have uh, looked out for him like that. Uh, you saying the real wasn't, he wasn't carrying his weight like that? Or? 
No, I think he <laughs> basically Slim probably saw himself in the real one right. being right. addicted to heroin and jacking and stuff like that, not having no support system, you feel me? And then you gotta look at now that you round Slim, he got a lot of access behind the scenes of everybody who hustle or whatever. You feel me? Versus on um, like Slim ain't had to buy no drugs, man. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, you know what? Like, you come to the studio with, with whatever on them just to hang around some them. You feel me? And that basically gave Lil Real one access to anybody else who had something too. You feel me? Even though Slim probably didn't want him to do her on if somebody had a bag of dope up in there, he could easily be like, "Man, give me a bag of that." Such and such. Let me. I'm gonna sell it. And then he go in the room and snort it. You feel me? Right. What about lyrically, Lil Real and lyrically? Um, the real one, he had a good work that did, but I think the drugs played a part in his situation too, you feel me? And, and him not being from our neighborhood also was kind of like heavy on him too. Because you got to think about somebody who don't know everybody and you, he, don't, he really ain't, didn't have a line of communication with anybody else besides Slim. Like Slim loved it, him, but who's to say I'm a love little real one the same way Slim love him, you feel me? So sometimes you think you would see on him that he was kind of a fish out of water or he was uncomfortable? Yeah, he was uncomfortable in situations too. Like he had to build his friendship up with the same people Slim already got prior relationships with. Right. What about uh, K.I.? Yeah, we had to learn to love him just like we love Slim. Gotcha. And you, you, you did it get to that point? Yeah. Well, he's accepted, okay. Yeah, we was all together. Like, man, we just hung together every day with the studio. Right after Slim got killed, I think we did about 30 songs by Bass Heavy Studio. Me, him, Chaotic, um, all the Chopper City family, Golf Snipe, um, everybody. We basically was going by Bass Heavy.